To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline where I'd like to blur the woman in the yellow shirt's face. Let's begin by positioning the playhead to where you want to start blurring the face. Don't worry if the face is only half showing, Resolve usually does a really good job with tracking it. Now let's go down here to Color. Select the Window tab over here, it should look like a circle. Then select the Circle tool. Drag the middle of the circle to reposition it over the center of the face. Then drag the circle's inner handles to reshape the circle around the face. Once you're satisfied with your circle, go over to the Tracker tab. Click the Forward Tracking button to track the face from your playhead's position. Okay, this tracked pretty good, but I don't need to track or blur her face before it shows up or after it leaves the frame. So let's go over here and click Frame. Then use the keyframe arrows to move the playhead back to this first keyframe where you started tracking. Press the left arrow key on your keyboard once to move it back one frame. Now drag your circle somewhere far out of the frame. Okay, and now when I play this back, the circle is off the screen and then snaps to her face when it appears. Next, let's move the playhead to the last frame of the face you want to track. Click the keyframe button between the two keyframe arrows to create a new keyframe for the current position. Then press the right arrow key once to move the playhead to where the face is out of the frame. Once again, drag the circle somewhere far out of the frame. Then I'm going to move the playhead over to this last keyframe and move the circle out of the frame again. Okay, and now my tracker moves off screen when her face disappears. Now the easiest way to add blur to our circle is by selecting the blur tab over here. Drag the radius slider up to increase the strength of the blur. Alright, and now when I play this back, her face is blurred out when it shows up. You can add different blurs like a pixelated blur by going up here to open effects. Drag the blur you'd like onto your node. And for my mosaic blur, I'll just increase my pixel frequency to make it look nicer. Alright, and there I have a good looking pixelated blur. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.